Leadership is often described as a journey, and like any journey, it has its twists and turns, its challenges and triumphs. But what does it truly mean to be an effective leader? What are the essential roles that a leader must play to navigate this complex terrain successfully? Let's explore the top 10 crucial roles that set great leaders apart from the good one, those who can inspire and motivate their teams to achieve greatness. First and foremost, an effective leader must be a visionary. This means having the ability to see beyond the present and communicate a clear and compelling vision for the future. A visionary leader can imagine a better tomorrow and inspire others to join them in that pursuit. Think about Steve Jobs, who didn't just create products, he envisioned a world transformed by technology. He had a knack for identifying emerging trends and opportunities, and he communicated his vision with such passion that it ignited a movement. So, how can you develop this visionary mindset Start by reflecting on your values and goals. What matters most to you? Engage your team in the visioning process. Their input can create a sense of ownership and commitment to the vision. Think long term. Where do you want to be in 5 or 10 years? Be specific and make your vision memorable. Finally, communicate effectively. Share your vision consistently and listen to feedback. This will help you refine your ideas and keep everyone aligned. Next, let's talk about communication. Being a communicator is a vital role for any leader. It's not just about speaking clearly, it's about listening actively and empathetically. Effective communication builds trust within your team. When team members feel heard, they're more likely to share their ideas and concerns. This open dialogue fosters a positive work environment where everyone feels valued. What does effective communication look like? It starts with verbal communication, delivering clear and concise messages. But don't forget about nonverbal cues. Your body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice all play a crucial role in how your message is received. Written communication is equally important. Be mindful of your emails and reports. Make them clear and tailored to your audience. To improve your communication skills, seek feedback from your team. Practice active listening. Don't just wait for your turn to speak. Tailor your message to your audience and use clear, concise language. Remember, communication is an ongoing process, so be open to learning and adapting. Now, let's dive into decision making. As a decision maker, you're responsible for making choices that can significantly impact your organization's direction. This requires critical thinking, problem solving, and an understanding of risk assessment. Effective decision making aligns with your organization's values and goals, and often involves gathering input from your team. Why is decision making so crucial? It helps you achieve goals, solve problems, manage risks, and build trust. When your team sees you making informed decisions that consider their perspective, it fosters a sense of collaboration and confidence in your leadership. Leaders can adopt different decision-making styles depending on the situation. An autocratic style may be necessary when time is of the essence, while a democratic approach can foster collaboration. The key is to be adaptable and consider what's best for your team and organization. Next, let's discuss the strategist's role. A strategist develops and implements a long-term plan for their organization. This involves analyzing the current state, identifying areas for improvement, and creating a roadmap to achieve desired outcomes. A good strategist balances short-term priorities with long-term goals, adjusting their strategy as needed. There are various types of strategic plans. A short-term plan may focus on immediate goals, while a long-term plan guides overall direction. Understanding the difference between operational, and organizational strategies can help you align your team's efforts effectively. Now, let's shift gears to coaching. As a coach, you're responsible for developing and mentoring your team members. This involves providing guidance, feedback, and support tailored to each individual's needs. A good coach creates a positive environment where team members feel motivated to learn and grow. Different coaching styles can be effective depending on the situation. Directive coaching provides specific instruction while facilitative coaching encourages team members to develop their solutions. Collaborative coaching involves working together as partners. Understanding when to apply each style can enhance your coaching effectiveness. As a collaborator, you bring people together to achieve common goals. Collaboration is essential for complex projects that require input from multiple teams. Effective collaborators build strong relationships, bridge communication gaps, and foster a sense of shared purpose. Collaboration can happen within your team, between departments, with external partners, or even with customers. Each type of collaboration has its unique benefits, and as a leader, you should be skilled at leveraging these opportunities to drive innovation and performance. Now, let's talk about motivation. A motivator inspires and energizes team members to achieve their goals. Understanding individual needs and preferences is key to keeping your team engaged. Motivators communicate a compelling vision and create an environment where team members feel valued and recognized. Different types of motivation exist, Intrinsic motivation comes from within, 
driven by passion and purpose, while extrinsic motivation relies on external rewards. As a leader, your role is to foster an environment that encourages intrinsic motivation while also recognizing the value of extrinsic rewards. Next, we have the role of an agent of change. Change is a constant in any organization, and effective leaders embrace it. As a change agent, you identify the need for change, create a vision for it, and develop a strategic plan for implementation. Engaging stakeholders throughout the process ensures buy-in and support. Finally, let's discuss the role of an innovator. Innovation is about identifying and implementing new ideas, whether through product development, process improvement, or exploring new technologies. Effective innovators think creatively and inspire others to do the same. Last but not least, a leader must be a role model. Their behavior sets the tone for your team. By demonstrating the values and attitudes you want to see in your team members, you inspire them to strive for excellence. Prioritize building positive relationships, maintaining high ethical standards, and committing to ongoing learning and development.